dear chairman, uh, Mr. Dr. Schlebusch, dear deputy prime minister Ilse Eigner, dear president uh, Dr. Kempf, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to be here and let me say what you are doing, uh, organizing such a conference, networking, hosting so many excellent people from Germany, Europe and all over the world is an excellent idea. And no doubt, uh, cybersecurity is key. Maybe data protection is important. It is. But cybersecurity is key. And mainly in Germany, where data protection has the highest level of sensitivity, we have to send out clear signals, we have to do more, we have to do better, we have to invest in hardware and software for to come to a higher level of cyber security. Um, Munich and the um, Munich Security uh, Conference is an excellent platform uh, there uh, for. So to be here in these days and seeing what you are organizing, not only today, it was a perfect program, I could read it, but day by day, since a few years, near to uh, the ministry, the state ministry, um, but this private public partnership with researchers and scientists, with universities and industries, um, with companies producing and uh, serving, having a security network in Munich, uh, organizing a platform, announced center, a digital barrier, uh, and a platform for cybersecurity. All this is, I think, a perfect fundament for to be successful in this public-private partnership. And Munich with or Bavaria or Germany with so many small and mid-sized companies, but with companies as Siemens, Huawei, IBM and others as well. We, I think we can convince our citizens that cybersecurity needs investments, needs ideas, needs standards, and needs a common approach. And so, with regional players, as Bavaria is organizing, we have been on the way to Europeanize digital policies and to Europeanize cyber security. I see the member of the European Parliament, Mr. Voss, who was a rapporteur for data protection and who is a driver uh, pushing all of these efforts in the European uh, Parliament. We are living in a digital revolution with e-health and m-health, connecting cars and trucks, platooning, coming to a future with autonomous and automated driving, with an IoT, with billions of data, with a data economy, with sensors, with smart devices, and we need, therefore, trust and confidence. Trust and confidence is important. A small or mid-sized company never will give their data to an external cloud if there is not trust and confidence. And trust and confidence is coming from reliable partners and from guarantees, from security, from security against hacking, stealing, um, destroying a data, spying uh, in an open and global uh, market. And so I think for our European Union and beyond, for the globalized economy and for our society, uh, cyber security is the most important technical and legal environment. By the way, for me, one of the most important places is the exhibition and fair in Nuremberg, year by year, specialized on cyber security. And the 
Technological University of Munich, the TUM, has excellence for scientists. So he is an environment which is really impressive and perfect. My colleague, uh, Vice President Anship, was here, I think, uh, at the beginning. And he, I could read his speech, mentioned our Network Information Security Directive and our Cyber PPP. It was an idea of my experts from, from my side to say, here we need a public-private partnership. Many challenges can be solved by industries in the private sector. Others can be uh, solved by regulation or legislation. But cybersecurity needs them all. From the research sector to the industry. From governments on regional and national levels to a European strategy. And this in a global environment. Because at the end of the day, we need a global level of cyber security. Because the internet and big data and the data economy has no border. Um, Germany and our EU, okay, we have world-class global companies, but we have mainly SMEs. And to give them trust and confidence is up to you and up to us. So we have to continue to work together. In our European research program, announced Horizon 2020, we have some money for to co-finance and for to leverage projects, ideas. And our call for proposals now is open. And in our work program for 2017, 18, 19, 20, you can see what we can offer to you, to public uh, private uh, teams, to universities, to research organizations, as Fraunhofer, Max Planck or others here in Germany are. So please come into contact to our experts for to um, leverage your work and for optimize your networking uh, team. One point is important for me. And I have a question to you, not for today, but for our next bilateral context, certification. Do we need standards? Do we need certification? And is it up to our industries to define them, to develop them? Or do we need legal definitions, legal standards? Let me compare. In our transport sector, we have legislative rules for highways and roads. In our um, industrial factories, we have legislative obligations for companies for to avoid damages of our workforce. Do we need European or even global legal rules? Or should we say we are moderating the process and it's up to our industries to come to industry-related standards? We are open, but we need a clear order of competence. And here to get your input, what is your expectation to us in the European Commission, should be in Parliament, in the German Bundestag, in the State Parliament of Bavaria? And what should be not up to us for to have flexibility, for to have no bureaucracy, to get an advice, and binding advice, and convincing advice from your side would be really important for us in the political uh, sector, um, and so let's continue, uh, let's uh, deepen our exchange of views. I think your two days program is inspiring all of us. And dear chairman, if you want to continue to uh, have a contact to us, we are available in Brussels or in Munich or elsewhere. Thank you very much.